up guys i am underscore boke here hope you're doing great wherever you are i'm also doing fine welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel first time you step by kindly consider subscribing like share and comment to this video let me know what you think about my video today leave sweet comments guys kindly hit that like button and for my returning subscribers thank you so much i appreciate for everything guys love and support you showing on to me guys never take that for granted so actually for today's video uh it's a cooking video and i want to share with you what i'm going to cook i'm going to cook with you it's lunch time over here and i want to cook my meal and i want to cook the matoke the matoke meal yeah i want to show you how we do this uh, in a traditional way how we cook in a traditional way guys so kindly watch to the video so so that you can see how we do it here yeah let me know from the comment section in your place how do you call matoke matoke is bananas the bananas they cook bananas that's what we call matoke and in our that's a local name that people knows about it matoke but in our language you call it ibitoke it's the same it's the same same thing so with me here i have my ingredients these are all my ingredients guys you can see them and i also have the cabbage here i usually love cabbage you, you can it's just like a, a spice also it's just like a spice also so you can use you can either use the cows you can use the cabbage you can use the spinach anything that you have around that's what you can use or you can use the kenyeji kenyeji is the greens the veggies yeah that's what you can use so guys these are the matokes that i'm talking about and yeah they're, they're, just, they're fresh from the farm i'm going to start by preparing them i'm going to show you how we do them uh we prepare them then we cook them okay so watch this video to the end and enjoy it yeah guys so i want to apply the cooking oil and this is my cooking oil here and the reason why i'm applying my cooking oil is for re is removal of the the black spot of the bananas yeah when you wash your hands like there is no any problem so if you don't want again the black spot you can normally use the gloves that you if you have any gloves around you you can use them and also you can use the polythene paper yeah so this is how i'm doing it and i want to start it i'm just separating them like this into one one and after that i'm filling them and this is the way we peel the bananas over here guys let me know from the comment section how do you peel the banana yeah actually we normally have different way of peeling the bananas but for my side this is how i normally peel but other people choose to use another way like of um, removing it one by one but um they say that <laughs> you know people usually say that if you're peeling these you're removing all the vitamins <laughs> Is it true, guys? Let me know from the comment section. Are you removing the vitamins? What 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 are you you eating when you eat the banana? <laughs> it's so funny, like uh, the way people just say some words. So I'm just winding up, guys, and I'm just want want to clear the space. Yeah. So I'm done doing it just clearing this place making it look clean and i'm going to take these to the cow and i have to up, um, put some salt here yeah, this is the salt the reason why you put the salt like the cow to feel that taste yeah so i'm just going to take to feed my baraka 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 yeah this is my cow baraka it's my mom's cow so it's our cow <laughs> So Baraka is enjoying the meal, guys. Yo yo. Then you just want to wash. Yeah. After washing, I'm just going to use the the flour. Yeah, this is the maize flour. If you have to, you you can use the maize flour, or you can choose to wash without the the flour, or you can use the cassava flour. Yeah, the reason why we use this the flour is because of the it leaves the banana so clean and like you feel that banana. Yeah, so. That's why you choose to use the flour. You can choose the anyway and you rinse them. So after this, I'm just going to rinse the bananas. So guys, they are ready. Want to rinse them? Meanwhile, guys, let me set the fire.
yeah my fire is ready and i want to set some water yeah this the, just want to boil the water that i'm going to use and um, meanwhile we wanna wash all the ingredients that i'm going to use yeah so i'm going to wash them with this first water and then i'm going to rinse all the ingredients as i'm going to to cut them into small small pieces i have everything inside my basin yeah so i'm going i'm just going to start by yeah this is my garlic preparing my garlic guys and i also have my my ginger this is my ginger this is how i'm preparing my ginger guys kindly in the comment section let me know how you do this and also hit that like button guys this is my green paper that i'm going to use i have my onion that i'm going to use Chopping my tomatoes here guys yeah wow well, well, i'm done and i'm going to take my red paper now yeah i really love papers <laughs> so i this is how we normally do here in the village if you don't want papers you don't use papers papers are not for everyone my water is ready and i'm going to put, to take it out as I'm going to start to cook my meal. Wait until the onion turns yellow brown, call them brown, then add your garlic with the ginger, then allow it to burn for some minutes before adding any. Then after, add your carrots and allow them to burn for some minutes too. When it's ready, put up your tomatoes and allow them to burn uh, to be very soft. Then after add your red peppers. After everything, you can choose to put the green paper or leave them until you put it up. But for me, I choose to put the green paper because I want I eat them. I like them when they are they are burned. Add your black paper if you want. Add um. Add the crackle, that's the crackle cook. Add the salt, this is my salt that I add. Then mix them properly until everything is well mixed. So guys, I'm going to add my milk. Very, very fresh milk. You can use the sour milk. You can use any milk. For me, I'm using the sour milk. Or guys, you can use the coconut water so if you don't have coconut water yes use the milk so guys this is what we call the traditional banana the matokes guys this is what we normally use putting my banana matokes and i'll mix them up and allow them to uh, to boil until they are ready then add a little bit of boiled water
in less than 15 minutes my meal is ready i'm adding my cabbage and also i'm going to add my corianders My meal is ready to be served. guys oh my god this meal is so delicious what what try this try this matoke and this is how we cook matoke guys so you see it's how simple and easy very simple and easy but the result is mwah, mwah, mwah. Mm. so guys uh, we use, we normally use these um the escort huh? we can escort the meal by using the fermented milk uh, fresh milk from the from the cow also we can use the tea we can use the black tea we can use water you can use anything like any drink to, to es you, yeah most of the most of us like mostly we use the tea and we use the fermented milk and also we mostly we use the porridge the african porridge that's what most of the time you find that uh, we're using here delicious mm. so guys hope you've learned something from this and hope you've really enjoyed my video to this far end kindly hit that like button and let me know what you think about the video today and this is my matoke so sweet let's meet again in the next one guys i really love you from the bottom of my heart like it's more delicious <laughs> it's so sweet that's why i feel like oh my god it's so sweet so guys I love you from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to hit that like button. Bye bye. I love you. <laughs> mm.